Hey guys, how's it going? Chet here. Today what we're going to be looking at are the first steps in learning how to improve your ear. This will really help with your transcribing skills and not only that, but when you're improvising as well, you'll be able to better hear what you want to play as you're playing it. Now for those of you that are new to my channel, my aim is to show you guys that anybody can become a good musician with hard work, dedication and consistency. I'm going to be demonstrating to you guys the methods that I use to analyse my favourite musicians and songwriters so that hopefully you can take these same methods and apply them to your own musical journey on whatever instrument you happen to be learning. If you think this might benefit you, then make sure you press the subscribe button down below as well as the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the next video. So back to ear training. What we're going to be looking at today is the method that I used to recognise ascending intervals within a one octave range. Now if you haven't got perfect pitch like Rick Beato's son Dylan and can't do this a, C sharp, C flat, C. then this is really going to help you out. The basics of the method here are to actually pick songs that we're really familiar with with the interval that we want to recognise in the first few notes of the main theme. It just so happens that I'm a huge fan of movie scores, so I'll be demonstrating all of these intervals using my favourite movie soundtracks. And remember, this is just for the ascending intervals. Descending intervals sound completely different, so I have another set of songs to recognise descending intervals. Not only are we going to be learning these intervals by ear, but I'm also going to be demonstrating exactly how to play the intervals on the guitar, because it's really important to start memorising straight away the shapes of the intervals on the guitar. So if you hear that sound or you want to replicate that sound, you know exactly how to do that straight away. So firstly, I'm just going to play through each interval on the guitar, starting from the seventh fret on the D string, which is the note A. So firstly, we have the unison, which is just the same note twice. We then have the minor second, the major second, the minor third, the major third, perfect fourth, the tritone or flat five, the perfect fifth, the minor sixth, the major sixth, the minor seventh or flat seven, the major seven, and the octave. Now it's important to note that because the way the guitar is tuned, the shapes do differ depending on what strings you're doing them on. So an octave shape here between the D and B string will look like this between the E and D string. As we go through the intervals, I'll demonstrate both shapes on the guitar. So the unison is just the same note twice, so we don't need a song to remember that. For the minor second, there could be no other choice than the terrifying theme from Jaws. Check it out. Now here what we have is the score of the part that we're interested in, and you can see that the two notes in the theme are exactly a minor second apart. Okay, the major second. Now the easiest one to use here is actually the theme to Happy Birthday. Duh, 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 duh. But we're trying to keep this to movie soundtracks. And there's definitely another song that I know inside and out from one of my favourite movies of all time. Check it out. Again we can see here the score and exactly how to play it on the guitar just in case you couldn't pick it out from that clip. If you're not 
sure on how to read music notation, and let's face it, us guitarists suck at that, then make sure you put a comment down below so I know to make a video on that in the future. On to the minor third. Now this interval seems to be really popular amongst movie composers, and I have a whole list of movies here that have the minor third as the first two notes. But remember, we're trying to pick the most memorable one for us. Now my one isn't actually a full movie soundtrack. It's a short theme that occurs throughout the whole franchise, and is whistled by the characters in the movie. Have you guessed it yet? You try. That's right, it's from the hit film series The Hunger Games, and it's a motif that's ingrained in my memory, which is perfect for this kind of thing. Here's what it sounds like on the guitar. Okay, so the next interval we have is the major third. Now this is surprisingly hard to find in the first few notes of movie soundtracks, and if you've got any other recommendations, please do put them in the comments below, but this one is definitely one of my favourites. Two questions. Number one, how the hell did they film that? And number two, how the hell did they film that? This is by far one of my favourite movies of all time, and the soundtrack throughout the whole film is nothing short but genius. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you go and watch it, it's amazing. So the song is called Another Day of Sun, and we see the major third interval really quickly in the first two notes. This is how it sounds on the guitar, and importantly, you can see the shape of how it's played on the fretboard. <laughs> The major third and minor third are two of the most important intervals we use in Western music, so make sure you know those ones really, really well. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, I'm a little bit of a geek and a massive Star Wars fan, so there are a few intervals coming up from this epic franchise. First up, the perfect fourth. I mean, come on, does it get much better than that? John Williams is a master. That's from Star Wars A New Hope when Luke is gazing out over Tatooine watching the binary sunset, hence the song name. John Williams actually uses this interval quite a lot in his film scoring, and you can check out a lot of other examples of the perfect fourth in his score repertoire. Right, so next up we have the Devil's Interval. Often called the tritone, flat five or diminished fifth, these can all be used interchangeably and they all mean the same thing. This is a really popular interval in modern music and you'll hear it a lot, particularly in rock and metal. But today, we're gonna to be looking into our favorite family from Springfield, America. If you ask me, everybody in this theater is a giant sucker, especially you. Now make sure you really pay attention to the difference in pitch between the two notes. I often find this one the hardest one to pitch inside my own head, so it's a perfect example of how we can use a really famous theme to remember it by. Next up, we're back to Star Wars, and it's probably the most famous intro of all time. I know, everyone's heard that one, and that's why it's so good to use for the perfect fifth. Check out how to play this on the guitar and how it looks. You've probably actually played this before if you've ever played a power chord. Remember, a power chord is just the root note, the perfect fifth, and the octave on top. So that shape might be familiar to you already. Now 
I said I was a Star Wars fan, and unashamedly, I've got another example for the minor sixth. Okay, that one's a little bit mushy, but it's so memorable that I can easily recall it when I need to, so that's my one. Remember, you can pick your own ones, this is just the ones I use and giving you a method on how you can do this yourself. Check out how to play this one. Okay, this might be getting a little bit embarrassing now, but I've got another Star Wars example for the Major Sixth, but I swear it's the last one. Years ago you served my father in the Clone Wars. Now he begs you to help him in his struggle against the Empire. I regret that I am unable to present my father's request to you in person, but my ship has fallen under attack. Now this is Princess Leia's theme, and you can actually hear it a lot throughout the whole franchise. It's a perfect example of the Major Sixth, because the first two notes are so important to the song. Check out how to play it on the guitar, as well as the shape of the interval. Okay, the minor seventh. Now this isn't much cooler than Star Wars. In fact, it's probably less cool. Nerd alert! It's the main theme from Star Trek, the original TV series. Now I know what you're thinking. I've copped out and I can't think of any other movies that have a minor seventh in it. But I'm getting around that with the technicality. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the Star Trek theme from Wayne's World. That's right. Here we can see Garth Algar whistling the tune to Star Trek in a movie. Just in case you want to hear the original, this is how the TV series went. This interval is so memorable if you think about this theme. It's a large distance between pitches, so I find this one particularly stands out. Okay, the major seventh, John Williams makes another appearance, but not for Star Wars. This time, is it a bird? Is it a plane? That's right, it's Superman. How epic is this soundtrack? It's so memorable and that's just what we're looking for. Check out how to play it. Okay, we're on the last interval, the octave, and you guessed it, John Williams makes another appearance. That's right, we're finishing this off with our favourite wizard, Harry Potter. We can't forget this epic film franchise that is loved by so many people around the world, and is another theme that occurs throughout the whole franchise, so it's nice and easy to remember, and that's kind of the whole point. Check out how to play this one. Right, so now you've got a list of songs from famous movies that you can use to memorise the sound of intervals. What you can do once you have an interval that you're testing in front of you is compare that interval with your own library of songs in your head and see which one fits. That's exactly how I do it. Eventually, what will happen 
is you will no longer have to refer back to the movie sound and you'll know that interval straight away purely from the sound of it. That's how I learned how to recognize ascending intervals within one octave. If you feel like you've gained something from this video, I'd really appreciate if you could show your support and press the like button below. Remember to also click subscribe and the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any future videos. See you later guys.